Hi everybody. I just wanted to take a couple of minutes here quickly to talk to you about exactly why it is that we started our family homestead. Um, the biggest reason being how much I was spending a month on food. Um, it just seemed ridiculous to me that we are constantly spending so much money on food and uh, you know we're not really prepared for anything happening in this world. You know and if we pay attention to actually what's going on in the world you know the markets are not very good right now there's a lot of talk of war uh, around the world and what would happen if the economy would collapse or what would happen if there was war you know we don't live the way that people used to live where we live the most complacent of any society in history you know we go to the grocery store for everything we need most people don't have more than a few days worth of food in their house and when you watch what's going on in the world, uh, it's very easy to see disaster looming because of how we live, the complacency that we have. And so there were two reasons why we started a homestead. One was financially, um, it was just becoming a burden on our lives to constantly be spending so much money on groceries and the food prices constantly going up. And the second was watching what's going on in the world and wondering how will people sustain themselves if something serious was to happen in the world. And so those are the two main reasons why we started our homestead. You know, I remember growing up, I grew up on a farm and my grandparents lived right next door and they worked hard all their lives and they had food all year long and most of it was food that they had provided for themselves they had chickens At one point they had geese they had pigs they had cows um, you know they had huge gardens they had fruit trees and they just had a lot to provide for themselves and as a society we really don't have that for the most part I mean I know it's becoming more and more that people are wanting to live that way <laughs> Sorry, we got a new puppy and he's just adorable. Anyway, so, you know, it's really quite shocking how we live in society and it's just really important that we take a real hard look at where things exactly are at in the world and how our families would survive. So on our homestead here, we do have chickens right now and we are looking to have uh, meat rabbits and we're going to have uh, lambs or sheep and uh, we're getting a Holstein. And... You know we're doubling our garden this year because I just I don't like what I'm seeing I want to be able to provide for my family for an entire year until the harvest time of the next year and so that's pretty much it that's why we've started the homestead and that's why we're working towards what we're working towards and if you have any idea we are working literally day and night and my husband comes home from his job and uh, we just go right to work on building cages and building a dog house. We just picked up our new puppy last night. He's absolutely adorable. And, uh, you know, trying to get everything ready. We're hoping to have meat rabbits by this weekend, but I'm not quite sure if we're going to make it. But it's just really important. So I just wanted to kind of share that with everyone because I honestly, I think we're living in a, a time in history where we all ought to think long and hard about these types of things because we've become the most complacent society that uh, literally expects everything handed to them and it's actually a joy when you actually start working for yourself and for your own family and for your own food and for your own survival it gives you such a great feeling I can't even explain it it's just a wonderful wonderful feeling so I hope this just encourages anyone out there that's looking to start a homestead just do it you know, we just jumped right in in the middle of winter. Someone offered us chickens and we decided, yep, okay, we'll take 30 of them. And my husband was out building for uh, two days in a row. The last day he was out till 4.30, almost 5 o'clock in the morning, building a chicken coop so that we would have a place for the chickens to stay where they could be warm and happy for the rest of the winter. And we get cold nights up here. I think that one night it was minus 30 when he was working outside. So... Anyway, it's very exciting. So God bless and have a great day. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe.